Why is the UFC lightweight division so quiet right now? And what are the next steps that make sense? Find it out in that video. Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA, today with another Blood Talk. Soon the Blood Talks will be from the new Blood Talk Crip, so stay tuned. The UFC's lightweight division is very quiet right now. In the top 15, no fights are really booked, there are many rumors, but yeah, no, not really finished bouts, scheduled bouts, and that's very sad, because it's very, very interesting in the UFC's lightweight division right now. It feels like the new generation of fighters is starting to take over the old generation there. The old generation, Dustin Poirier, yeah, Charles Oliveira maybe, but he's still the top of course. Dustin is also at the top, but I mean like in the next few years, um, Chandler, Tony, Connor, all the old dogs. I feel like it's, uh, yeah, the new dogs start to take over. Guys like Gamrot, guys like Fiziev, guys like Sarukian which I'm a very big fan of. I really believe Sarukin will be the champ there. But right now there's really no fight schedule for the top fighters. Gaethje, Chandler, Oliveira, Makachev, all these guys not matched up. The reason is probably that most of the guys there fought recently, yeah, in the recent two, three months, and they still try to figure out what makes the most sense because it's really tough to figure that out right now. Since there are so many good matchups, in my opinion, you can't really do something wrong. Of course, you will always have the fan camps of certain fighters saying, nah, it's not a good matchup, uh, he's, he's not being liked by the UFC, blah, 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 whatsoever. But right now, in my opinion, there's really, in, inside the top 15, you can match up anyone against anyone. It's always a dope fight. There's no wrong fight. Oh yeah, okay. I don't want to see Tony Ferguson fighting Oliveira again, but there's no wrong fight in the UFC's lightweight division right now that you can do. Even if you match up a guy that is, yeah, more below in the rankings or higher, however you, to, however you want to say it, like 10 to 15 against a guy that's top five, which they normally don't do, but it still would be a dope fight right now because there are so many good up-and-comers in the top 15. And all of them can beat all of them, if you know what I mean, in my opinion at least. So let's go through the rankings a little bit. Not every guy, but a little bit to see what could make sense. Let's start off with the champ, at least for me it's a champ, the people's champ. Not officially the champ, unfortunately, but we all know he's a champ. Charles Oliveira. He will most definitely be next for the title, like if, it, if that's not the case, then I think we need to riot against UFC because that will be a disaster, a really disaster. This should be 100% fixed. Now you can match him up against Makachev, good fight. Match him up against Conor, what he wants. Also good fight if you hate it, uh, if you like it or not, it would be a good fight. Match him up against Chandler again, good fight. Match him up against whoever you want, good fight, you know what I mean? Everything for him would be a good fight. Most definitely it will be Makachev. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You have Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier has a beef with Chandler right now. That would be a great fight. He has the beef with Colby Covington. He's sad he wants to go to 170. Would be a dope fight. You can match him up against... If we stay in the lightweight division right now. You can match him up against Nate... No, no Nate Diaz. Well to rate. Makes a hell lot of sense for me. Match him up against Connor again, possible. I wouldn't like to see it, but possible. Match him up against Justin Gaethje again. Great fight, you know what I mean? So many great fights there. I would like to see Dustin, uh, just, no, Dustin, sorry, fighting uh, Chandler. If we talk about 155, if we talk about 170, I would like to see him fight Nate Diaz. Then you have Chandler. Chandler is, I already did a video about him because of that, of that um, topic, you can match him up against everybody, everybody. It doesn't matter if he's ranked number 15, if he's ranked number one, the champ, whoever. Chandler can beat and lose against everyone. And I would love to see him against everyone. I want, I want to see him as much as possible. The best matchup for him that I would like to see is probably 
ask Connor or Dustin. We have Islam Makhachev. Everybody is a good matchup for him. Of course, guys like Justin Gaethje are more favorable for him. I don't say he will beat him 100%, but they're more favorable for him because of the wrestling part. But there are many good matchups. I still think the Darius fight makes a lot of sense. Also, the, the Oliveira fight, of course, makes sense. A Chandler fight would be great. Like, there are so many nice fights. A Dustin Poirier fight would also be very great, in my opinion. Then you have Justin Gaethje, just come off of, uh, of a loss. I would love to see him fight Fiziev. I would love to see him fight everyone. <laughs> Dustin Poirier, Chandler again, whoever. He's also a guy I would like to see against any, anyone, anywhere, anytime. Really, man. Dope fight always. And you have guys like Sarukian coming up. Or guys like Gamrot. Let's talk about Gam Gamrot. He just comes off a win against Sarukian. Match him up against everybody that is ranked higher than him, against Pori, against Chandler, against uh, Gaethje, against whoever you want. Of course, on the title shot, but every fight will be great. Same with Sarukian. You have a guy like Fiziev, just comes off a, uh, a win against the old dog RDA. Match him up against Gaethje. Match him up against Dustin. Like, you, you see the pattern there? You can match up anyone with anyone. It's really always a dope fight. Of course, some fights are more favorable for certain fighters. Okay, you will always have that, but there's no fight right now in the top 15 where you can say guy A will 100% beat guy B. It's not there. It's not there. Even, hey, okay, I dig deep now. Even if we talk about Oliveira fighting Ferguson again. Ferguson is still a dog. Of course, he's not the same Ferguson as we are used to and uh, yeah, the guy he was once, but it's a fight. It's not a football game, it's a fight. One punch is all it takes. And Ferguson still has power. You saw it against Chandler. He hurt Chandler. If he can hurt Chandler, he can definitely hurt Oliveira. And he can definitely finish Oliveira. I would not see that coming, but it's possible. Know what I mean? So the lightweight division is really, really interesting right now. I think the next one to two years will really change a lot there. There will be a new wave coming in, the old wave. Unfortunately, for us guys that witnessed this nice wave that are now the old dogs, will most definitely go out more and more or back in the rankings, retire whatsoever, unfortunately. But there's a new great wave coming. I just want that the UFC books fights because I think they're too hesitant. They should just book these fights, man. I want to see them fight as much as possible and the, the longer you hold them back, the less they can fight. So UFC, please book some fights there. I would love to see it. Write down in the comments which fights are the ones that you would look most forward to. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that a lot. Like the video and most importantly, eat your vegetables, people. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bloodsport out. Eat your vegetables.